Meghan and Harry have been branded useless as they failed to do the royal version of the Kardashians. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are two of the most useless people in the world and the aristocratic version of the Kardashian family, a conservative radio host has claimed. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Mark Simon, who Donald Trump once described as a real conversationalist, also said the Sussexes were missing out because many Americans did not know what the couple's jobs were. He told British News, I think they are two of the most useless people in the world. I don't know what kind of work they do. I don't know what they do all day. I don't know where they are going with all this. I think they're trying to be the royal version of the Kardashians. It doesn't work. People get tired of them very quickly. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved to the United States in early 2020 after stepping down as working royals. However, the couple suffered a major blow across the Atlantic after a poll suggested the Prince of Wales was the figure to unite the US. More than half of those polled rated Prince William positively. Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky came in a close second place with 57% support. King Charles also did well with 46% support. Speaking about Prince William's reputation in the US, Simone added, well, he's handling it very well. I admire him, we love him in America. I don't think anyone would recognize him if he walked down the street. But he did well. He has been a great role model for the family. The 41-year-old also met with Ecuadorian President Guillermo Lasso Mendoza to discuss the South American country's efforts to combat climate change. William has also been photographed with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in New York. After arriving in the US, the future king said, it's great to be back in America. No one is as optimistic and smart as Americans, so it's only fitting that we announce this year's Earthshot finalists in New York. Eighty years ago, the world came together in this great city to find new ways to solve our common challenges, through the United Nations. I know that our generation can take the bold steps needed to build healthy and sustainable development in the world. A challenge can feel great, but as John F. Kennedy taught us, we face it not because it's easy, but because it's hard. And very important.